When I set up my Wi-Fi with the current Wi-Fi technology, I can use three frequency bands, 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz. If my wireless router is an older generation, then it probably have only two frequency bands, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Either way, it is very important to know the advantages and disadvantages of each of them and use them for the right purpose. I've seen many people who don't pay attention to this simple but very important matter and they experience all kinds of Wi-Fi issues. And many times people just blame all those issues either on this manufacturer of the wireless router or that internet service provider. And they don't realize many of those issues could easily be prevented by selecting the right frequency band for the right purpose. So now let's once and for all talk about it and make sure we don't make this mistake. When it comes to the Wi-Fi range, generally the lower the frequency, the longer it can travel. Or in other words, the larger its Wi-Fi coverage area is. Now, there are other factors that can affect the Wi-Fi range, but in equal conditions, that's usually the case. For example, in this wireless router, the 2.4 GHz band has the largest coverage area, followed by the 5 GHz band and then the 6 GHz band. The lower frequency can even penetrate obstacles such as walls better. So when I'm here, it is perfectly normal to receive a strong signal from the 2.4 GHz band, an acceptable signal from the 5 GHz band, and a weak or even no useful signal from the 6 GHz band. This behavior is normal, and there's nothing wrong with that wireless router. I just need to make sure I'm aware of it so I can design my network accordingly. So that was the situation with the Wi-Fi range. But when it comes to the overall quality of the frequency bands, things are usually the opposite. I mean the 2.4 GHz band has usually the worst quality compared to the other two because it's an older technology, there are less channels available and those channels are usually very crowded. The quality of the 5 GHz band on the other hand could be much better because it offers more non-overlapping channels which could be wider compared to the 2.4 GHz band. This obviously can result in faster speeds. However, there is still some issues to consider. For example, the radar also uses the same frequency band so this can cause interference which is not good. As for the 6 GHz band, the quality could be better because it provides even more channels compared to the other two bands and it's a newer technology so the channels are not as crowded. So overall I should expect faster speeds and better quality with the 6 GHz band. Of course as long as I'm within its Wi-Fi range. Now that I'm aware of these two situations, when it comes to setting up my wireless network, I can make more informed decisions. For example, if I have a device that needs to have a fast, reliable, with low latency Wi-Fi connection, such as a gaming PC, then I should try to connect it to the 6 GHz band, because it has the best quality. If I connect it to the 2.4 GHz band, it can experience all kinds of issues. Now if this gaming PC is in an area where the 6 GHz range does not reach but the 2.4 GHz range does, instead of using the 2.4 GHz to connect, perhaps I should relocate the wireless router or use a secondary router to ensure easy connectivity. On the other hand, if I have devices that don't necessarily need super fast connections because they transmit minimal data, such as my smart home devices, then I can connect them to the 2.4 GHz band. And maybe I can dedicate the 2.4 GHz band to those devices only. Then I can use the 5 GHz band for my other personal devices such as laptops, smartphones or even smart TVs. And this way I'm using the strength of each frequency band to my advantage which is good. Now some people might say when I try to connect to my Wi-Fi I can only see one Wi-Fi name. So how would I know which frequency band this is and how can I force my device to connect to one frequency band and not the other one? Well, if you only see one Wi-Fi name, that is probably because all of them use the same name and password. This is called Smart Connect and this way, when I connect my laptop or smartphone to the network, it will automatically decide which frequency band it should connect to. I actually talked about the advantages and disadvantages of using the Smart Connect feature in that video, so feel free to check it out if you are interested to know more details.
But when I set up my Wi-Fi, I can also use different names and passwords for each frequency band. For example, home Wi-Fi 24 for the 2.4 GHz band, home Wi-Fi 5 for the 5 GHz band, and home Wi-Fi 6 for the 6 GHz band. This way, when I want to connect, I should be able to see all three of them, and I can easily connect to the frequency band that I want. Also, don't forget that in this video, we only talked about the different frequency bands that we can use for Wi-Fi. However, when we set up the Wi-Fi, there are many other important factors to consider as well. We will cover those factors in other videos. But for now and in this video, we learned that choosing the right frequency band for the right purpose is one of the first steps of setting up and designing a good wireless network, and it should not be neglected. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Share it if you think others might like it too. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you again and I will see you next time.